phase mid vectors phase mids are also a combination of the plasmid dna plus the lambda genome and here the lambda genome includes the attachment site uh, of the uh, lambda genome dna so such a combination of plasmid dna including the lambda attachment site they are called as phase mid vectors phase mid vectors they can be synthesized uh, by the insertion of the plasmid dna into the lambda genome and this insertion of the plasmid into the lambda genome it is by the same mechanism by which uh, the lambda genome insert itself into the host bacterial chromosome by a process which is called as site specific recombination if you remember in case of lysogenic bacteriophages or cycle lambda genome by site specific recombination it can insert its dna into the host bacterial chromosome to iske baad jo lysis ka step hai wo temporarily uh, inhibit ho jata hai aur uh, jo cycle hai wo prophage stage mein enter hota hai that is not immediately followed by the lysis of the cell so similarly the plasmids they can also be inserted into the lambda genome by site specific recombination and this insertion it is called as lifting of the plasmid that is the insertion of the plasmid into the lambda genome it can be termed as uh, lifting of the plasmid and this step it is reversible Re reversible means that ke plasmid jo hai wo dobara se excise ho jata hai lambda genome se so because of this reason the insertion of the plasmid it is considered as reversible so such unique combinations of the plasmid with the lambda genome they are called as the phase mids phase mids they are uh, very important in the cloning procedure because they have certain advantages over other Uh, uh, lambda vectors like uh, here the dna in the form of uh, uh, artificial recombinant dna uh, they are more stable when they are packaged inside the phage head their shelf life uh, increases and at the same time their screening by the use of hybridization procedure it is more easier as compared to Uh, bacterial uh, are the other plasmids so phase mids they have certain advantages uh, over other cloning vectors and here uh, we can quote an example of lambda zap vector as a phase mid examples and this lambda zap it can be used for the cloning of cdna and this lambda zap vector it has certain Uh, advantages it is uh, a type of insertional vector where the foreign dna it can be inserted after treatment with appropriate restriction enzyme so it is a type of insertional vector after treatment with restriction enzyme to jo foreign dna ka fragment hai isko isme clone kiya ja sakta hai aur isme jo maximum length hai foreign dna insert ki ये दस किलो बेस तक हो सकती है सो दिस इज वन ऑफ द एडवांटेज एंड अनदर एडवांटेज इज दैट इट मे कंटेन मल्टीपल क्लोनिंग साइट्स फॉर डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ रिस्ट्रिक्शन एंजाइम दैट इज वन क्लोनिंग साइट फॉर डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ रिस्ट्रिक्शन एंजाइम सो वी कैन यूज डिफरेंट एंजाइम्स फॉर क्लोनिंग पर्पज विद रेफरेंस टू सिलेक्टेबल मार्केट्स इट कंटेन जीन for the synthesis of beta galactosidase we have already discussed the importance of beta galactosidase inactivation when foreign dna it is inserted within the gene that synthesize beta galactosidase then it is inactivated and it is called as insertional inactivation 
and if there is no production of beta galactosidase it means that the foreign dna it has been uh, inserted and at the same time another advantage is that the foreign dna it can be excised from the uh, lambda genome in addition to that these phase mates can be used to uh, used to express the fusion or, or the hybrid proteins and uh, uh, at the end uh, if the foreign DNA is inserted then the RNA transcripts they can also be synthesized so these are the different uh, advantages of the phase mate vectors